Hi everyone, today I thought I would do a nail art tools video to show you some of the things that I use in my nail tutorials and also other ones that I don't necessarily use on camera very often but I do use it in my everyday life because it makes my life easier to have those around. Um, so I'll quickly go through those. Uh, all of the things that I mentioned today are available on my website. There will be more or less depending on when you watch this video. I might have more a bigger range in the future and also some might be sold out. So these are the things that are available right now. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the pump bottle. Now this pump bottle, uh, you've probably seen them in my videos. Um, I try to include them in because I find them very very useful to have and I think everybody should get one and it's also one of the best sellers on my website. So this pump bottle is used to store nail polish removers. Um, so you can unscrew this and pour your nail polish remover liquid into this bottle. Um, it is acetone safe so you can either put acetone removers or non-acetone removers into this bottle. You can open this cap and pump the liquid out and uh, you just need to pump it out however much that you need. The rest will still remain in the bottom section. On the top you can either use a nail wipe and just press it on top and press it down and it will soak it onto the wet nail wipe and then you can use it to remove your nail polish. Or the other thing that I use is that I squeeze out a little bit and have the, have the liquid sit on the top and then use this little area of nail polish remover to clean my nail art brushes. And also this bottle has a, a locking mechanism so when it's open you can press this down and if you twist it and lock it in place it will prevent the pump from working. So definitely one of my favorite nail art tools. The next thing I'm going to show you is this brush cleaner bottle. So if you unscrew the cap there is inside it looks like this. There's um, little holders, different size clips that you can use to hold your nail art brushes. And you face the brush down into the bottom of the container. And if you can see the inside, there's little ridges on the inside. So you pretty much just fill the liquid up to about this much. And the rest of the cup is just to hold the brush, and depending on how long it is. So you want to have the brush hairs right down the bottom and you can sort of use the ridges to help clean the nail polish off. So I think this is very handy to have and also this bottle is also acetone safe. And when you're not using it you can screw the cap on and it will prevent the nail polish removers from evaporating. This is a picker pencil is what I call it and I use this a lot in my videos to pick up decals and rhinestones to place them onto my nail. It has a sticky tip. When you first get it, you gotta use sharpener to make a point. And also comes in black as well. So you just use this little bit on the top here, the tip, which has a little bit of sticky properties. It's not too sticky that you know, if you move the decals around, it won't come off. It just it has enough stickiness to pick up the rhinestones or decals and then place it on the nail. And I've never sharpened it since I first started using this, so it's not like you use it up or anything. You can use it as a normal pencil, it does write if you get the black one. So a very handy tool to have and it's very cheap and it's another one of the best sellers on my website. This is a pack of nail wipes and it is about 900 sheets inside, so this is just handy to have. It's all cut out into so you can just use this sheet by sheet to soak up the nail polish remover liquid and wipe your nails down or you can wrap this around your finger for glitter polishes or gel polishes if you want to use acetone remover it's like a right size to wrap it around your finger and hold it there for a few minutes and let the liquid soak into the nail polish and does this work so the next thing I want to show you is this paint palette. So these come in different colors. Sometimes I have more colors. Right now, this is the two colors that I have. So what I normally do is um, I put nail polish into the little grooves or in the middle here. So I just dab a little bit 
from the nail polish bottle and then use the nail brush to pick up the colors from this palette so after a while it might just end up looking like this <laughs> it looks a bit messy but what I like to do when I try to clean up this thing I don't use nail polish remover to begin with I use a dotting tool so either end is fine just use a little bit of force and try to scrape the nail polish off so I just try to get as much as I can off with the dotting tool and whatever residue that's left I use the nail polish remover liquid and to wipe that off and that will be a lot easier and a lot quicker to do than to soak this very thick blob of nail polish from the plate the reason that I use this dotting tool is because the tip is round so it won't Mm, do too much damage to the plate but you do get a little bit of scratch on the palette but I've had this for over five years and I'm still using it it's fine it doesn't really affect the function of the palette I mean you can just use like a piece of paper to dab the colors with but I find that anything that's left flat on the table usually ends up on the bottom of my hand or my arms so to have something like elevated above the that surface of the table makes it a lot less messy after your manicure session. The other thing you can use this palette for is to clean your brushes with it. You can put some nail polish remover liquid in the grooves here and then use that to soak the nail brushes. These are called nail soakers and it comes in a pack of 10. So what you do is you stick your finger in here. <laughs> now you put, um, these are used to remove gel nail polishes or just normal nail polish if you want as well. You put the acetone remover into this little container down the bottom and then you stick your finger in so it prevents the liquid from leaking out. You can have one on each finger and give it some time for the liquid to do its work and remove the nail polish. This thing here is a nail polish bottle holder. So what you do is you put your nail polish bottle in here. You can fit all different size bottles. And you sit this on the table. And it stays in pretty securely. So you can pretty much unscrew the bottle with just one hand. And you can have it tilt it a little bit so it gets to the bottom of the bottle. The next thing I want to talk about is these nail charts. Um, there's different ones on my website. I've also got these ones and these ones. These ones are probably the cheapest. You just put different nail polish colors swatches on this so you can know what colors you have. Also with this one, you can use it to practice your nail arts on. Use this as a practice well. So instead of using your own fingers, if you just want to practice drawing, flowers or characters or anything you can use these as practice fingers and it also comes in the clear color as well I like to use the white ones for shimmers, creams and neons because of the white background it makes the colors show up better the clear ones I normally use it for glitter nail polishes because I think that it shows up better when you try to swatch it because it's more because your nails are not really white unless you put a white background. But usually when you put glitter, you just apply the glitter on its own without a background color just to show the full effect of the sparklies. So I think the clear ones works good for glitter polishes and then for the rest of the nail polishes, the creams, the shimmers, and the neon, they work better on the white background. So the second type of nail chart swatch palette thingy here is these ones where you can kind of hang um, on hooks or anywhere near your nail polishes so you can try on the colors this way you usually see them in salons or places where they sell nail polish so they would have a swatch the good thing about this is that the shape of the nail looks a lot nicer than these ones so if you put your finger underneath it and with the colors swatched, it will give you a pretty good idea of what it will look like. 
um, on your nails. And you can also write the name of the color on the little sticker here in the front and back. And the other type of nail palette that I have are these ones, which are my favorites because I use it for all of my nail polish color swatches. And they look like this. So there's the gray ones and the white ones. And the reason that I like this is because all the little uh, clips or swatch sticks, you can remove all of them and also you can rearrange them if you want. Say if you have a lot of pink nail polishes and then you went out and bought a, another shade of pink and you want to put it on your pink palette, you can rearrange that to put it into the shade where it's closest to so it's just easier that way and the difference between this one and the white one is that the plastic used for the little clips is different these ones are made out of PP plastics so you can actually use nail polish remover to take the colors off and reuse it again and this one is just hard plastic so it's not reusable but it does hold on to glitter polishes a lot better than these ones. So these ones, the glue polishes, I find that just falls off after some time when it dries up. It just slides off. Like see that one? That color came off already. So if you want something that's more longer lasting, I recommend getting this one for glitter polishes and then for the, all the other colors you can use this palette. And with this palette what I did is that I use, you can use a nail art pen or a liquid paper. I just wrote just the initial of the brand of polish on the clips. You can't really see it, but it's there. Just so you know which brand they are, you can find the colors easily. So there are the nail palettes. So before I started doing nail tutorials on YouTube, I usually just use nail clippers. Uh, but now that I have all these tools available to me, I'm actually, I actually prefer to use files now. Or buffers because it makes the edges smoother looking and also the surface you can also buff that down as well so this is the three in one nail buffer it's double-sided this one has three different surfaces the black side is for filing nails the gray set on the back is for smoothing the surfaces and then the white side is for shine this little thing here is the two-in-one nail buffer. This one doesn't have a nail file, but it does have the smooth and shine yeah, side. This one is the block, which has four different sides. It's got the directions on each side. So it's got the description of what each side does. Number one is file nail edge. Two is remove ridges. Smooth nails is number three, and then shine nails. And then the last one I have is a metal nail file. So pretty much you can file the nails or you can file anything else you want in the house. I also use this to file my nail plates as well. If the edges are like too sharp, like if you don't want to cut yourself, I sometimes use the metal nail files to file it down so it's smooth as out the edges and it's safer on your fingers. This thing here is the gel brush dotting tool duo which I use very often in my videos to remove uh, excess nail polish around the cuticles. So this is actually a size 8 gel brush which you can apply gel polish onto your nails with and also it has a dotting tool on the other end so it's multi-purpose but since I don't do a lot of gel nail polishes I just use this brush side to clean around the cuticles. Usually if I do my left hand, I use my fingernails to get rid of any excess nail polish. But if you're doing your other hand, you don't want to ruin your manicure on the other hand. So I dip this in some nail polish remover and then use the brush to, because it's really flat, just work that around the cuticles to remove any excess nail polish and to clean up your manicure. And also with the dotting tool, you can use it to pick up rhinestones if you just dip it in some clear nail polish or you can use it to dot flowers or use it to even draw nail art designs as well. 
The next thing I have here in my hand are these little <laughs> finger gloves. So I use this. You can just roll this onto your fingers, which however many you need. Um, I just usually just put it on two fingers, depending on which two fingers that I use to hold my brush. Just to protect your manicure when you're using nail polish remover. So if you've already done your manicure for one hand and you want to do your other hand sometimes, cleaning things, and you don't want nail polish remover to attach your already done manicure, you can use finger gloves to protect your nails. This is really good to use for stamping designs because we use nail polish remover to clean the plate and stampers in between nails. So having done one hand you can put some gloves on and then you can then do your other hand without worrying about ruining your design on the other hand. The next couple of things are these nail tip guides, French tip guides. Um, you can get them the round uh, original shaped French tip guides or you can get them in three different shapes so I don't know if you can see it but there's a little curve and also um, like a v-shaped one so you can do different styles of French tips using these guides and I use them in my videos so you can see how easy it is to use them and of course we'll need nail art brushes so these are some of the sets that I have so these ones are my current favorites, they're liner brushes. I usually use the shortest one to do detail work and the longer ones to do stripes with. The square brush, you can use it to clean around the cuticles like a flat brush and also you can draw square shapes using <laughs> the square brush. <laughs> The detail brush, this one's a bestseller. And then with these bigger sets, you've got some angle brushes, some details, some liner brushes, a dotting tool, and a fan brush. So you've got some choices there, and you can use them to create different shapes on your nails. And I might do a different video just to show you how to use all the different brushes in a brush set. I've also got this fake nails that you can use comes in 10 different sizes so it'll fit um, all of your fingers so you just have to measure and see which one fits. You can actually pre-design your nails for special events like Halloween or um, weddings, um, any other occasions that you might need some preparation work. So what you do is you do your designs on these and then you just put them aside and let it dry, you don't even have to wait for it. Just leave it there and then use these double sided nail stickers to stick them onto your nails on the day that you're going to use them. And then when you finish using them, you just soak your nails in hot water and remove the sticky from the fake nails. And you can keep the design to use for your next time. This is a practice finger very self-explanatory I think. You stick the fake nails onto uh, the top here and then you practice if you're practicing to be a manicurist or even just practicing just to better your drawing skills or if you want to just try out some designs first you can use blue tag or use the double sided nail sticker and stick the fake nails onto the tip and then just practice like that and then remove it when it's done. This is actually originally designed for practicing with acrylic nails. This is a nail art pen. It's the Carnot two-way nail art pen. So it has two different ends. Uh, I use this to draw letters on my nails or even use it as a dotting tool. It also has a liner brush in it as well which you can do French tips or lines. So pretty much on one end you squeeze the product out and just draw, use it just like a normal pen and it will just work that way but it's got nail polish inside so it's called a nail art pen and to use it as a dotting tool uh, instead of going back and forth with the dotting tool uh, to get more nail polish all you have to do with this one is you squeeze and then you dot in the design as you would a dotting tool and then if you unscrew the cap here there is a liner brush inside here. See? Liner brush. Oops. So this one I use a lot in my videos as well. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you today is a display hand. <laughs> it's my third hand. So this you pretty much just put it on the table or inside a window display so people can see the nail designs. Um, there's slots on the fingernails so you can do your designs on the fake nails and then slot it into the nails here. That's all I have for you today. There's actually a lot more on my website that I haven't included, but I think the one that I showed you today are the ones that I use most and that I would recommend. See you next time. Thanks for watching.